Well, I am very nervous for this. It's time to take the hood off, cut it up, and then get to the back end. That's what I'm mainly nervous at. I'm kind of thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Now a giant hole. It's gonna look good. Pretty much now it's just gonna flip it over, um, cut the main support. Um, so flip it over, cut all the main support out, and then that should be good. I might even weld some of the support up, depending how it looks, um, just to give it that extra beefiness so it doesn't flap around and doesn't lose the structure of it.
play you measure twice, cut once. Now I'm just gonna so if I drill through here and drill through here, I'll be able to make uh, marking guides. So then when I take this off and sand it back, it'll be in the spot. All sanded and primed. It's cut to shape, two pilot holes to help align it on the bonnet. <laughs> Next day, I let all the uh, Cicaflex dry up, and then went around and just ground down all the pot rivets, because then they're flat, flat-ish anyway. Next is just to um, start making the profile with fiberglass filler. Um, and once the profile that I want is kind of there, so just to get rid of those edges. And you just go along with lightweight body filler, so just do the bog to take the shape. Um, yeah, that's like it. Gonna be a good day. All filled up.
fill it up quite nicely actually. Let that dry, become tacky and I can sand it. And then put the lightweight body filler over top. Just sanded it all that back. Some rough spots, but that's what bogs for now. So it's good but so it's gonna go from here, flatten out then up. Down here, it's gonna go straight to here. I might incorporate that line as well. But let's see. Bondo's done. Slowly taking shape. Coming along very nicely. Sanded down, scratched up, ready for Prama. Talent so good. She's all primed. Now I just gotta chop the car and then I can wrap her. <laughs> 